Hey guys, this is Mike coming at you today from Player One Video Games with Episode Six. Six. And today on Episode Six. Six. That's right. We are going to talk about the Turbo Graphic 16. Now I know last week we touched on the Turbo a little bit uh, when we were talking about the Genesis. Because mm -hmm. for me, those two are really, really connected because uh, of the Toys R Us. If you watched that last video, you know I went to buy the Genesis at the Toys R Us. Spoiler. Here. Yep. And saw this. I mean, I had never even heard of a Turbo Graphics. I've he I heard of a Genesis, of course, because I w was going uh, every week to see if it was in stock. But I had never even heard an inkling of a Turbo. Now let's talk about why and what's up with that. Now the Turbo was out in Japan two years before it came out in America and it was called the PC Engine, right? Mm -hmm. And so back in the 80s, um, the Japan was like Mars. It was a, it, it was like another planet. It was halfway around the world, pre, of course pre-internet. You've heard me say that a million times, I won't even go into that. But the the for an 18 year old or a teenager or somebody in their early 20s, you could you didn't have a thing didn't know anything about Japan except that now this is uh, I'm not trying to make anybody mad out there in, in the World Wide Web but in the 80s Jap things from Japan was kind of could be weird to Americans right it was odd and the turbo was kind of in that ballpark some of the games were were really odd when you played them or tried them out so I think maybe that's one of the reasons why it didn't succeed over here uh, but saying that, let's get back to the Toys R Us uh, moment, the first time I saw the Turbo. So boom, there it was next to the Genesis. And of course, I had to make a decision back and forth, and I chose the Genesis because the Turbo only had two buttons, the Genesis had three. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. So I never bought one at launch. Um, I chose, chose the Sega. Uh, the first time I really even saw one in motion was probably about maybe three or four months later uh inside of where there's well i don't even know what it's called now but it used to be fiesta uh where burlington coat factory used to be mm -hmm. so there used to be a big fiesta and inside of that fiesta a uh, grocery store was a giant grocery store had little kiosks and there was a kiosk in there and the guy had a turbo it was a little video game kiosk the guy had a turbo graphics and he had it playing and I think he was playing Devil's Crush or Aliens Crush, one of those, uh, you know, legendary acts, Keith Courage, things like that. And so that was the first time I actually got my hands on one. And what did I think of it? What did you think of it? I thought, man, I made the right choice when I bought the Genesis, <laughs> is what I thought for sure at that moment. But it it didn't make me want to buy one. I, I, and that's the moment I, I felt like this is a little odd, a little weird, some of the games, because he had a lot of games with it there that you could buy. Um, and I, I, I was lukewarm on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I was, uh, I, w I wasn't going to buy it. I, I knew at that moment, and I knew at that moment it probably was going to fail because you knew the Super Nintendo was around the corner. Also, um, so but I was still it intrigued me a little bit, right? And then maybe about later that year, the CD attachment came out for it, and at that time I was like oh my god a CD you know and, and this was probably some time I don't think it was 91 I think it was a 90 man I want to say it was might have been late 90 or 91 early 91 the first time I saw that CD attachment and saw it in motion it was at Babbage's which was right next door where Sun and Ski Sports is right now um, in that area and I liked it and I thought man maybe this thing is pretty good because it's going to have to have a little bit better quality games better sounding games with the cd but it was four hundred dollars for that attachment of course that's when cds that's probably the first time i ever saw anything like that mm -hmm. uh, and i think it was the wasn't it the turbo cd the first time a system had a cd yep. that was on games is that right yep okay so about another year goes by and the super nintendo was out and the turbo to me was pretty much dead but guess what they did they dropped the the price of that cd attachment i believe to 199 and they gave you 10 games jeez 10 games with it and i thought 
man, maybe I should get it now. I'm going to get 10 free games at $199. It might have been $299, but it was somewhere right around there. And But at that moment, I went, I'm buying a dead system. Even though it was still active, you know, they were still making games here or there. Um, I decided no, not, that I was not going to buy it. But I started noticing, hey, the games don't seem that bad, but they definitely seem more, more NES kind of than Genesis. Right. right. There wasn't too many games that had depth to the screen, um, but there were some good games. Like, like uh, let's do uh, Sidearms, right? Okay. This is one of my top five shooters of all time. Um, let's put it in there real quick and I'll show you why. Right now we're playing Bonks. We'll come back to a good old Bonks adventure. And we'll put in side arms. And what what else is cool? What I th I thought it was cool at the time that they had these that they had these credit card style things. Mm -hmm. But you got to remember, back then bigger was better. So that's to me. I went. How much power can this thing have with just a game on this? You know, to me, it just I didn't couldn't quite wrap my head around how this thing could make really really good games mm -hmm. and you know that's why genesis i mean on the that's why you know this was a standard genesis cartridge right but ea did that why to make it this did nothing right right i mean the the the, the board in here is the same size as in here generally so when i saw this i thought man that's got to be some power in there right you know that's just was, was your thinking back then boom boxes were giant you know it, it was just it was just the way it was so my initial thought was, this is cool, but it can't be that great of games because, or they can't make that great of games because of the size of this card. So, but sidearms, all right. So let's let me show you why this is one of my favorite shooters. Because see, each when you when you shoot and you can go to left or right, like you can go around this side and shoot to the left. Uh, one button goes shoots right. One button shoots left. And so that's no other shooter I've, that I've seen does that. And this is just really fast. See how fast my uh, Gundam guy is moving? So that's one reason why I like this game. Because a lot of shooters back then, a lot of shooters move slow. Like mm -hmm. our type to me was a little slow. Uh, I liked it. But this machine in Japan did great. I mean, it rivaled the NES um, and Super at the time because it was shmup heavy mm -hmm. so in the in the in the in overseas they like shmups a lot in japan over here we liked them too but not not as much as they did um so it kept going right and so i didn't buy the cd i didn't buy the the turbo graphics when it was active and then they came out with this pc engine duo uh well this is a pc engine duo it was a turbo cd duo turbo graphics cd duo over here and so it would play the disc games in here and the turbo games all in one, one compact system, right? Now, I never even saw one of these on the store shelves. Nope. And did not even, there wasn't an inkling of them. I, by the time they had them somewhere at Babbage's or Toys R Us, the system was dead. It was pretty much gone. I don't think I ever saw one on the store shelves. I didn't even hear about one really um, until later. If I saw Turbo something, I just totally overlooked it. Now, the Turbo Express, we'll talk about that later. That was really intriguing at the time. So, I when did I get my Turbo? When did you get your Turbo? <laughs> Finally, <laughs> when did you get your Turbo? <clears throat> when did I get my Turbo? I got my Turbo in probably 1998 when eBay first hit. Wow. I got mine from eBay. And <clears throat> one cool thing about the turbo now to me oh at the time it would the library is not too big it's less than 100 american games right so i was just you know look trying to look at pictures of everything because i was starting to buy games here and there well, they were cheap you, mm -hmm. know, you could get turbo games for five bucks ten bucks on ebay at the time and even some of the, even in 98 if you had a local shop like ours you could still find a few turbo games here and there really really inexpensive and so I, I bought it. I had maybe a dozen games at the time. And I realized, you know, at, at, I, I was starting to become nostalgic again. I always said when Metal Slug came out, I got my Genesis out. Then mm -hmm. I bought a Turbo. And I realized, hey, you know, that when, to me, 
when the turbo like nowadays is not competing against anybody it's just there mm -hmm. the games are a lot of fun there's some very very unique games to only this system like really you can only play sidearms on the turbo and i don't think it's on any other system uh box is it is on the nes there, there is a version but really you know it's it, you can only play it on the on the turbo like Re box revenge and did I like Bonx when it came out? I loved Bonx when, and this is cool. This little box. These you never see the actual box to the, to the, um, you know, jewel case. Uh, you everybody threw those away so so quickly. You rarely see them. But I liked Bonx when it came out. You know, it was trying to be like a Mario game, but it was. I I, I thought he was cuter a little bit. You know, the the um, Bonx himself. And it was a fun game, you know, not as deep as Mario, but still a, a lot of fun, especially when we got pissed off, you know, mm -hmm. when, he gets, when he gets mad and um, it, it's funny, but we'll keep going here. Okay, so the big game on this system was probably Splatterhouse. Um, and rightly so, it, what, the, it had a hook to it to this game which I like too we'll put it in there real quick and you know they kind of stole uh, from Jason there you know you know uh, the way he looks of course but back then you're not gonna get sued uh, uh, to, you know uh oh but I, lo I liked getting this two by four and it felt like playing oh. baseball you know that, that's what I liked about it. Oh man, I won't, won't be able to get, but that's what I kind of liked about the Splatter House. Um, it felt like baseball. Let's Ninja Spirit to me is probably the best overall game on the system. We can't show it to you. We can't get our Ninja Spirit to work at this moment, or we would show it to you. But it's big. You know, back then everybody talked about Splatter House and Alien Crush or Devil's Crush at the time. And I particular at the time I played Alien Crush and Devil's Crush, but I didn't think it was all that great a of a of a pinball simulation, you know. But it was fun. I, I did enjoy it. Um, but it's it's a you know back then that was kind of cool. It had, had such a, a large screen for the pinball. Most of them were were every they were trying to fit everything on one. Mm -hmm. um, but you know what I always have wondered my whole life. What's that, Mike? Who the heck is this guy right here? Zach Morris, where are you? Do you know who this is? No. If y'all can figure it out, please comment. <clears throat> I want to know who this guy is. So, he, this came out in 89. So, this kid looks like, well, he might be 14, 15. So, he's a, he was about almost my age. I was 18 when this came out. So, he's probably close to my age now. But I th always thought, man, if if I happened to, if I, that was me on the cover of Turbo and I owned a classic game store, I would have so much street cred. It'd be crazy guy if you're out there play one video games friendswood texas reach uh, out to us look at those those black eyes he he's really evil underneath that smile dead eyes I'm like devil's advocate like just shark's eyes yeah he is evil in there evil but um <laughs> like a doll's eyes but saying all that to me <laughs> the the turbo has a has a a nice place uh, what where does it rank in my systems i don't know it's not a top five for me but i, I will getting back to the library real quick before we wrap it up uh the library is unique right if you look at the 96 games or however many is in the library man the majority of them are only on the turbo you know there's a few few instances like clax is on there but that's on other systems um but so 90s must be clax that's right. I love it. I love it. And so Clax is on that one, which is on other ones. But there's a lot of games that is exclusively on the Turbo, which kind of that's one one reason why to me it's kind of cool um, why it's why it's in my rotation. Uh, the Turbo Graphics. I probably will pull it out. You know, maybe three, four times a year. I'll pull out my Turbo and play through my games. In my in my collection, I probably only have about. 15 games so before sony and before microsoft decided to do exclusivity it was turbo graphics right exclusively on the turbo did you own one of these castro no not at all absolutely not I, 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 <laughs> absolutely no not. i walked into a kb toy store saw it was like 
well, that sucks. And went and picked up my Genesis. So you knew it sucked too, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Just, I just looked at him and was like, nah. Everybody knew it sucked except for Macaulay Culkin. Yeah. Uh. Right. Arsenio Hall gave him that, which you saw in the last video. So, um, But, you know, there's really, for me, not a whole lot more to say about the Turbo, but I, I like it now. I like it. It's one of those systems where it it flipped. I didn't like it at, when it came out much, and I and I like it a lot now. Um, I tolerate it. You tolerate? I it? just tolerate okay. it. I don't. Right. I don't have neither lo love nor hate for it. So. So it's right down the middle. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, saying that, hey, we do have these in stock. Um, this is for sale. The one in the box. We do have this Turbo Duo R for sale in Turbo Systems. I don't think we have a CD attachment nope. at the time. Uh, those usually are, are really hard to hard to get we have a decent selection let's walk over here where twan's at and show show you guys the selection of oh we have a, a few commons up here um tricky kick and just some a few up there in stock and then we have all these where twan's working over here look out twan we got <laughs> let's close this we have all these loose cartridges right here um and then we have some in the in the case uh we only have one in the box which is um the bonks and then we have all these over here that's loose oh well i wouldn't call them loose but they're in the in the thing too Ooh, bloody wolf bloody wolf yeah there's some good stuff on here all right so saying all that come on out of the player one it'll be a great time